dear students welcome to the sixth lecture on theory of equations in this section i will explain symmetric functions and uh, its applications related to the roots of polynomial equations let us discuss about a symmetric function of the roots consider the expressions like uh, alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square or beta minus gamma square plus gamma minus alpha square plus alpha minus beta square or beta plus gamma gamma plus alpha alpha plus beta in this form you can see that uh, if we interchanging any two of this alpha beta gamma then you can see that uh, the value of the entire expression will not change such expressions are known as symmetric functions so in this equation alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square suppose we are interchanging this beta and gamma then you will get alpha square plus gamma square plus beta square that is the same value as that of alpha square plus beta square plus gamma square likewise here also that will happen but in this case you have to read this as alpha plus beta then only this will be a symmetric function otherwise it is not a symmetric function now let us look the standard definition of uh, the symmetric function a function f of alpha 1 alpha 2 etc alpha n that is a function in terms of alpha 1 alpha 2 etc alpha n is said to be symmetric function of alpha 1 alpha 2 etc alpha n if it remains unchanged by interchanging any two of alpha 1 alpha 2 etc alpha n if you are interchanging any two of these n elements then the value of this function will not change such functions are called symmetric functions now let us discuss some problems related to uh, this symmetric functions let us discuss the first question if alpha beta gamma are the roots of the equation x cube plus px square plus qx plus r equal to 0 find the value of the following in terms of the coefficients look at here the coefficients are 1 p q and r here we have to find the sigma 1 by beta gamma this sigma represent the summation that summation varies for alpha beta and gamma likewise you have to find the sigma 1 by alpha sigma alpha square beta now according to, to the previous lecture we know that uh, sum of roots alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus p is of the form minus b by a here b equal to p and uh, a equal to 1 therefore you will get minus p and sum of uh, product of two terms uh, of the roots uh, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha will be equal to c by a that is equal to q and the product of roots uh, alpha beta gamma equal to minus r so we have three results uh, in terms of uh, the roots of uh, the equation and uh, the coefficients uh, of uh, the polynomial now let us find the sigma 1 by beta gamma sigma 1 by beta gamma will be equal to 1 by alpha beta plus 1 by beta gamma plus 1 by alpha gamma so here the variation for alpha beta and gamma we are putting that variation then you will get this expression now here we can write this expression as alpha plus beta plus gamma divided by alpha beta gamma here we are taking the common denominator as alpha beta gamma and uh, simplifying on the numerator you will get alpha plus beta plus gamma here alpha plus beta plus gamma equal to minus p that we have obtained 
and alpha beta gamma equal to minus r that also we have obtained therefore you will get p by r so we have expressed sigma 1 by beta gamma in terms of p and r so the first result is over now come to the second one sigma 1 by alpha here the sigma uh, varies for summation varies for alpha beta and gamma so here the terms are of the form 1 by alpha so you will get uh, the sum of terms of the form 1 by alpha then you will get uh, 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta plus 1 by gamma here also you can take the common denominator as alpha beta gamma alpha into beta into gamma then you will get the numerator as alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha uh, here we know that uh, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus uh, alpha gamma equal to q and alpha beta gamma equal to minus r therefore q by minus r or minus q by r so we have expressed uh, sigma 1 by alpha in terms of uh, the coefficients of uh, this polynomial equation now we have to find one more that is uh, sigma alpha square beta here we have to consider the terms of the form alpha square beta and we have to find the sum uh, here the sum varies for uh, alpha beta and gamma then you will get the expression alpha square beta plus beta square alpha plus gamma square alpha plus uh, gamma square beta plus alpha square gamma plus beta square gamma you have to consider all terms of this form then you can express these terms as alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma into alpha beta alpha plus beta plus gamma minus 3 into alpha beta gamma every symmetric expression can be written in terms of uh, this sum of roots uh, product of roots uh, and uh, uh, sum of product of two terms then here we know that uh, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to q and alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus p therefore q into minus b minus 3 into alpha beta gamma is equal to minus r then minus 3 into minus r then we will get here you will get 3r then here you will get minus qp or minus pq then you will get 3r minus pq so we have expressed all the terms in terms of uh, the coefficients of uh, the polynomials now uh, let us discuss uh, another problem uh, it is given that uh, if alpha is an imaginary root of the equation x raised to 7 minus 1 equal to 0 then how to form the equation whose roots are alpha plus alpha raised to 6 uh, alpha square plus alpha raised to 5 uh, alpha cube plus alpha raised to 4 we have to form an equation whose root should be alpha plus alpha raised to 6 uh, alpha square plus alpha raised to 5 alpha cube plus alpha raised to 4 now here it is given that alpha is an imaginary root of the equation x raised to 7 minus 1 equal to 0 now uh, let's we can take uh, uh, the terms uh, alpha plus alpha raised to 6 uh, alpha square plus alpha raised to 5 plus uh, sorry alpha cube plus alpha raised to 4 as a b c then we have to form an equation with roots as a b and c an equation with roots a b c will be of the form x minus a into x minus b into x minus c equal to 0 that means a b and c should be the roots of that equation then x minus a x minus b x minus c will be uh, the factors of uh, that polynomial equation then uh, you will get x minus a into x minus b into x minus c is equal to 0. Here uh, on expanding uh, this expression you will get x cube minus a plus b plus c into x square plus a b plus b c plus a c into x uh, minus a b c equal to 0. Now you can see that uh, a plus b plus c here a equal to alpha plus alpha raised to 6 b equal to alpha square plus alpha raised to 5 and c is equal to alpha cube plus alpha raised to 4 so putting that value then you will get a plus b plus c is equal to alpha plus alpha square plus alpha cube plus alpha raised to 4 plus alpha raised to 5 plus alpha raised to 6 then uh, by the algebraic properties we can say that uh, this is of the form alpha into alpha raised to 6 minus 1 divided by alpha minus 1 or you can take it as uh, uh, the geometric progression uh, with uh, first term alpha and uh, common ratio alpha common ratio alpha and uh, uh, six terms of that sum then we will get uh, 
alpha into alpha raised to 6 minus 1 divided by alpha minus 1. Then by multiplying on uh, with uh, this alpha on the numerator, then you will get alpha raised to 7 minus alpha. And we know that uh, alpha is a, a root of uh, uh, this equation x raised to 7 minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, we can say that uh, alpha raised to 7 minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, you will get alpha raised to 7 equal to 1. By putting alpha raised to 7 equal to 1, you will get 1 minus alpha divided by alpha minus 1. Then you will get, you, might, you can take 1 minus outside on the numerator, then you will get that, you can cancel that term, you will get minus 1. So, uh, a plus b plus c is equal to minus 1. Similarly, uh, you will get a b plus b c plus a c, you have to multiply these terms like a b plus b c plus a c, then on simplification you will get uh, the sum of that values uh, is equal to minus 2. And also you can find a b c. Uh, and while finding that ABC, you will get some terms like alpha raised to 7. For all alpha raised to 7, you can put the value 1. Then uh, you will get uh, ABC is equal to 1. Therefore, the equation, uh, the equation we have already obtained, the equation should be of the form x cube minus a plus b plus c into x square plus uh, ab plus bc plus ac into x minus abc is equal to 0. There you can put a plus b plus c is equal to minus 1. Then ab plus bc plus uh, ac equal to minus 2 and abc is equal to 1. Then you will get the equation x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. We can discuss uh, some more problems. We can discuss uh, some more problems uh, on the next video. Thank you.